Since becoming Olympic sport, I think I've approached skiing with maybe a bit more of a professional focused manner. I've tried to keep it as light and fun as I can, but you know, when push comes to shove and you're spending so much time in the gym and so much time training and making so many sacrifices in the other part of your life, you do, ha you do want to put in 100% so you have no regrets um, with the final outcome. And you know, it's only, a few, uh, I guess, a month, less, less than two months away from Sochi and just trying to give it my all and put in everything I have. So when I'm over in Russia and I'm, I'm done with my run, I know that I put all I had in everything I had possible in, so, you know, I can't regret the outcome. When I started slopestyle skiing, I'd actually just given up mogul skiing, and with that, I thought I'd given up, you know, my chance to go to the Olympics, and I was okay with that, and I was happy with where slopestyle skiing was taking me, you know, I was, have been competing in X Games and the Dew Tour and cruising around the world on photo shoots and filming, and it's been really fun, but when the opportunity did come up to be part of the Olympic team, I mean, it just had it added a whole new layer to the sport and I couldn't think of anything better to top off my career than to represent Australia at the Olympics. So this is the first year I didn't spend Christmas in Breckenridge and have a white Christmas. I actually went to Mexico with my roommate and my sister Natalie and got given, I only got given one present, um, but I was particularly fond of it. It's the Nice Jewish Guys 2014 calendar. So this is going to keep me on track for the rest of the year, make sure I have all my dates correct and you know, hopefully I'll also get a date with one of these beauties. Um, I particularly like Jason who's on the front cover. Um, so yeah, any, any of you nice Jewish boys out there, my mum would be particularly pleased if you gave me a call. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on. laughs>